Hello everybody, KWhip here and welcome to another Destiny video. And in this video I am bringing you the top 5 fusion rifles in Destiny at this current time. Some of the things I looked for in the weapons was mostly their consistency, their versatility, their base stats, and potential roles. So diving right into number 5, it is the Panta Ray. The Panta Ray is a legendary fusion rifle and it is the crucible fusion rifle from Taken King. You can get this weapon from Crucible Drops from Shax. It is in the mid charge rate archetype of fusion rifle, as it does 46 damage per bolt, so it requires 5 of your fusion bolts to kill someone. This is generally the strongest archetype of fusion, and it's a rather comfortable charge rate, quite quick, and is pretty good for taking down shotgunners. I found this fusion to be quite consistent and provided a lot of one shots and it's got pretty manageable stability in my opinion as I don't even use a stability perk on the Panteray I normally use. I go for range so the Panteray is quite controllable and I'm a definite fan of it. At the number 4 spot I am choosing the Thesen FR4. Now this is a weapon that I actually thought was maybe in the top 3 a couple months ago. I thought it was fantastic. But since then, its consistency seems to have dropped a little bit, but there are definitely some things about this weapon that are very strong as a fusion rifle. One strength of the Thesen is that it comes with some of the highest base stability in the game. It actually might have the highest base stability out of any fusion. I think that's definitely impossible. Don't know for sure, but it seems like it. And another thing about it is when you order it from the gunsmith, uh, most of the perk rolls, or at least a lot of them, drop with braced frame so a lot of times you will actually be maxing out your stability entirely and it will be a very stable fusion rifle and be quite effective in the close ranges for taking down people trying to shotgun you or just people that are in your close to close medium range. However with this large base stability it doesn't have the greatest of a base range stat so if you don't have something boosting its range it might struggle from farther ranges compared to the other fusions I have on this list. The Thesen is also in a pretty good archetype. It does 49 damage per bolt, making it usually require 5 bolts to kill someone. However, if someone is running low armor, it has the ability to 4 bolt. So this gives the Thesen some more potential. However, a lot of times if you only hit your 4 bolts, you will leave people one shot. However, you can just switch right over to your primary and clean them up, as you can do with just about all the fusions on this list. And lastly, with the Thesen, it comes with generally pretty good scopes, and it's quite easy to get a pretty good roll on it if you keep trying the Gunsmith for one. And so usually you'll get a pretty decent roll on the Thesen, and it can be pretty good for you. Moving on to the third spot on the list, I am choosing the Ash Raven's Flight. Now this is the Taken King Iron Banner fusion rifle, and it's actually the only fusion rifle that you cannot obtain anymore on my list. However, this thing is so dominant and so consistent for a legendary fusion rifle that I had to include it on this list. If you still have one of these from Taken King, such as like the vendor roll with hidden hand, brace frame, and hot swap, I would definitely make sure to hold on to it and maybe try it out because it is still an absolute monster. The Ash Raven's Flight does 47 damage per bolt, so it yet again requires 5 bolts to kill people. I find this fusion to kind of be in the sweet spot for fusion rifles when it comes to charge rate. It's not too slow and it's not too fast, and has a great balance between charge rate and impact. This is also one of the most consistent legendary fusions I've used due to its very high stability on at least my roll with Brace Frame, and its high base range stat that it comes with. Hopefully Bungie makes this fusion rifle and other old Iron Banner weapons available because this thing is absolutely amazing and is easily one of my favorite fusion rifles. Moving on to second place is the Saladin's Vigil, and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that this should maybe be number one, but there's a couple reasons why it shouldn't be. It's got some weaknesses even though it is an absolutely dominant fusion rifle. You obtain the Saladin's Vigil from it dropping in the Archon's Forge. The Saladin's Vigil is in the archetype that does 50 damage per bolt, so against most targets you will be able to kill them with 4 bolts of your fusion rifle, however if they're running very high armor it may take 5. Generally however this thing is going to kill in 4 bolts and is extremely consistent. It is the fastest firing variant that can 4 bolt kill, so this is a large advantage for it. If you can get past the slow charge rate on this weapon, it is definitely an absolute monster and has the ability to hit people from extremely far. The weapon also rolls with some great base stats. 
It has very good base stability, and yet again, the one that I primarily use does not have a single stability perk on it. I find no stability increase necessary, so I can optimize for range and turn this thing into practically a sniper rifle. You can hit people from super far with this thing, it's extremely consistent, and a fantastic fusion. Its main weakness though is its slow charge rate, because if you're playing smart shotgunners they will be able to close the gaps pretty quick on you, and probably be able to shotgun you before you can get your burst off, unless you're playing very passively and making sure you can keep that distance in between them, which you probably should with this weapon and you'll be hard to stop if you do. And finally for my number one pick, it is the Plan C Exotic Fusion Rifle. Plan C is a very versatile fusion, and can actually range from doing 45 damage per bolt with accelerated coils and certain ballistics, and can go all the way up to 48 damage per bolt with field choke and without accelerated coils. The Plan C comes with some great fusion rifle perks, such as hip fire, accelerated coils, hammer forge, perfect balance, and its exotic perk. The hip fire accuracy on this weapon is quite noticeable, and does quite well while firing from the hip. Otherwise, for what to use on the weapon, I would choose Field Choke and Hammer Forged, because even though it says that it has low stability with that, that is basically a complete lie. Even with the least amount of stability you can have on this weapon, the recoil is straight up and down, and is very manageable. So I go with Field Choke and Hammer Forged, as it gives me both the most impact and the most range, and this allows you to get more consistent kills, as well as hit people from farther away, and turn the Plan C into a bit of a sniper rifle. The Plan C is an extremely consistent fusion rifle. Because of its strong archetype, manageable recoil, and insane range, the fusion is extremely consistent and will get you kills from very far away. And I have yet to even mention the best part of this exotic, and that would be its exotic perk. The exotic perk allows you to fire your weapon almost instantly after switching weapons, so you can skip charging your fusion rifle and just instant melt your opponent. This gives you the ability to do a ton of damage even from very far range, or if a shotgunner is pushing you, you can quickly switch to your plan C and annihilate them as they're in your face. This exotic perk is extremely good and sets the plan C apart from every other fusion rifle in the game. If the plan C didn't have this exotic perk, I would still probably use it just because of how consistent it is and how great the range is, but with this exotic perk, it makes it a special type of weapon and allows you to do some crazy things with it. As some honorable mentions, I would name the 77 Wizard, which is pretty good. I just think the charge rate is too slow and will get you killed by shotguns too much. And I would also say the Stellar Vestige is pretty good. But anyway, that's my opinion on what are the five best fusion rifles in Destiny at the moment. Please drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your top five fusions are and subscribe for some more Destiny videos. Thanks for watching and see you later.